How's it going guys? Tony here and it is SNES Classic Edition month and I'm going over all 20 games included plus one once I get Star Fox 2 and today I'll be covering F-Zero one of the release titles on the system is this game worthy to be included on the SNES Classic Edition? I'll also share some of my childhood memories and just general thoughts on the game. Guys, please subscribe to me if you have not. And that's going to put you guys um, in the contest for a chance at an SNES Classic Edition Mini that I'm giving away. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've been enjoying these reviews. And let's check out F-Zero. F-Zero, this game I love. This game is awesome. It's very difficult and you have to get used to it. It's not your typical racing game. Now there's two racing games on the Super NES Classic Edition, this and Mario Kart. So they picked two good ones. Now one thing I wish they would have included is Top Gear. Top Gear, ooh. When I think Super NES racing games, that's my top favorite. Now, you might say Mario Kart, Mario Kart. Well, that's my top. Anyway, back to F-Zero. So, I did play this game as a kid. But I didn't play it that much. It'd be like one of those 99 cent rentals that I always been talking about here in these videos. You know, I'd rent like four or five games for 99 cents a piece had them for five days and just try a bunch of games out or play a bunch of classics and I would rent this and just be utterly frustrated with it because you can die while you race and you can see on the side of the tracks there there's those green bubbles okay that's like an electric field and you can lose energy if you run into it just like I did right there you can also lose energy if you bump into another driver another racer you can recover it if you go through that little field and as a kid I didn't quite understand this I just wanted to go fast you gotta learn how to brake you gotta learn how to drift using your R and L buttons on the controller and you just gotta practice the game. And that's the beauty of playing a lot of these older games. You just gotta practice. You'll get better. And you can see that I'm fairly competent at this game. I actually make it to the third race and just kinda give up a little bit there. But I, I do quite well. I'm better than I used to be. Let's just say that. This game's a, a ton of fun. The only thing that it's lacking, I wish it had, is multiplayer. Now this was an early release, I understand that, and you're not going to have split screen, but it's only one player. Now Mario Kart is two player, so if you want a two player racing game, there you go. Go for Mario Kart, which I'll review later. Now, you know this, if you really want to play a really good F-Zero game. This is up there is my favorite but I would recommend the one on the 64 and the one on the GameCube. Those are really good but this one is very close behind. Okay, those kind of edge out F-Zero on the Super Nintendo because of their multiplayer aspects. You see I got number one there and I just I really haven't played this in a while 
Now, F-Zero uses what's called Mode 7 very well. That's what the Super Nintendo is known for. Their Mode 7 graphics and scaling and all that. And it uses it quite well. Um, I also just love the graphics. Very, very bright. Very, very um, just colorful. And the soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack is so good. I, I listen to that sometimes when I'm working at school. Is I'll just pop it on or I'll even put on the Smash Brothers soundtrack and that'll be on there. And that's another thing. You know, this Smash Brothers plays a lot of pays a lot of homage to the series. Of course, Captain Falcon and the various stages and and the music. So yeah. Now I, I kinda wish that Nintendo would revive this series. Okay, there's plenty of people that know about it. Plenty of people know about Captain Falcon now, you know, Smash Brothers. And why not? The Switch needs a good racing game besides Mario Kart. And yes, I know there's RMX that's out. I actually own that, and it's a very good game. And it's a lot like this game. Well, guys, I don't have too much more to say about this. It's a... It's a great game, and I recommend that you play it. And yes, it does belong on the Super NES Classic Edition. Now, they, they should have had Pilot Wings on there as well and Sim City, and it just would have made sense to me to have some of the other re release titles that came out on the system. You see that there's power down, power down. I'm starting to lose my energy. Now, I actually make it through this race just okay but just barely. Now these these first few races are pretty easy and it gets harder and difficulty. Um, if you guys want to check out more footage of this, I recommend that you watch uh, James Rolfe and Mike Matei. They, they do this on their channel. James and Mike Monday. Just check them out. Uh, this is an excellent game and yeah it belongs on the SNES Classic Edition. Uh, that's all I had to say guys about this. I hope you've been enjoying these reviews and my thoughts on this. And hey guys subscribe if you haven't already. You will be eligible to be a part of my contest to receive an SNES Classic Edition. All you have to do is subscribe. So guys thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And again, subscribe to me and, and like this video. Have a great day.